Hey guys, it's IBB dropping in here on the Yamantau map. It looks like that right there, right there in front of you is a Leo. I got a level 11 Ansel on top and some maxed out aphids on the sides. Now, I don't play this setup all that often because there is a bug in the game where your aphids will explode as you fire them. Uh, but sometimes it's fun to play this this one. It's just sort of annoying. It's fun to play because it's annoying. And sometimes you just got to do that stuff. Sometimes you just got to be stinkery. Yep. Just ask my kids. <laughs> oh, I kid them. I kid them. They're good most, most of the time. Most of the time. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, and it looks like these guys are coming up on two different sides, uh, which is okay. It's not the best. I want them all coming up on that back side there on the ramp. That's what I want. I want them all lining up. It can be a little tricky, so I'm going to have to watch it. So I'm going to come over here on this side since they seem to be over on my left. So I'm going to hide on the right side of this, this ramp here. And as you can see, that was a pretty good idea. Now, I, I saw a couple of different bots over there, and all of this you just sort of see out of the corner of your eye. So I saw somebody, I think that MDK guy is a Carnage with the Zeus's, if I saw that correctly. And then we've got a, a Trident Fury in the background there, over on my right. So it looks like they are coming, we got some guys coming around on both of our flanks, which is never a good idea. And if possible, you want to try and keep them from doing that because it just ruins your day. You, sir, are just rude. Wrecking my party. And you, you, I was just talking about you and then, you know, see, see, see what happens. Oh, that's the Trident Fury. All right, I think... I don't think I'm going to last much longer in this spot. If I can get up in the center, then no, no. I think this spot's toasted. Yeah, he's toasted. Let's get out of here. All right. Let's bring in the old Lance a lot. Oh, wait. You know what? I think I called that incorrectly last time. The Ansel Shield on the Leo was actually, I think, a level 6 or 7. This is the level 11 Ansel Shield. You know what? I have no idea. I have no... So just don't listen to a thing I say because I'm on crack right now. So <laughs> I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to go up here and do what I get paid to do and then shoot stuff in the face. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So we got beacons 2-2. Two, two. We are down a little bit on the beacon bar. But that's okay. It's not really all that bad. And so, uh, since it is 2-2, I don't really feel the need to go up there and expose my bot any sooner than I really need to. So let's just see what the red team is doing. Make them commit first. That's what I want them to do. I want them to show their hand. Alright. Alright, so let's get up. This guy can kind of shoot around that structure there. So let's get up here. And do a little corner shoot on my own. Alright, so I'm just going to stay right here. And I know that Fury of Trident is back there. My shield isn't regenerating as fast as I really wanted to. Let's see if we can get it to regenerate. Come on. Nah, they're going to have my bacon here. Little bit of corner shooting. What am I doing? About a thousand damage a shot there? Maybe. <laughs> These are lovely 11 Orkins. Oh, man. All right, let's get back into this thing. Hey, we held that center beacon for a little bit, I guess. Not bad, not bad. Are we down a player? Come on. That's just rude. Alright, so if we, uh, what I'm going to do is what they were doing early on in this game, which is coming up on that on that far bridge there. So I'm going to go over here on this far bridge. And these, these structures right here in front of me, 
If the enemy has splash damage and you can keep them outside at 300 meters, you're good. If they have plasma, then you can use these structures here as shield. However, if I find that if you go any further than these three structures right here, you're kind of out in the open. So sometimes I like to just hang out here. If they come up into the center, uh, I can have at them. So, and it was a good thing that I just backed off there and stayed right there because that guy with the tridents, he would have had about a third of my health on that one. So there he barely got anything. I'm going to come over here because this guy looks suspicious. Oh, and there's a fury trident up there on top as well. I didn't see him earlier. All right, he's going for our side beacon. Ain't gonna happen, mister. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There you go. Now, in that instance, you know, I had plasma and that was a carnage. The Rhino guy probably should have just came up here anyway to help guard this center beacon. Uh, because I had him over there. There's no way that Carnage would have gotten to our side beacon. So it would have been a better play for him to come over here. And I think I mentioned that in a couple of games ago. As hopefully this guy will... And I got to watch that trident up there on the side. Jump away. So that was a good call. He had splash damage, so I, you know, I jumped right when I was supposed to jump there. Uh, but I mentioned it in a, a couple of games ago, I think, where two of my my teammates were engaged with an enemy player, and I did not go in that direction, and and that's because sometimes you just have to trust your teammates to do what they do. And that's when they're one-on-one -on -one battles. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But you know, no matter what, you have to sort of trust them because then you're sort of diverting resources from where it is actually needed on the battlefield. All right, so it looks like they're try. They're, they've got a lot of mid-range out here right now. In fact, they probably got a little bit too much. And but they are trying to flank us, so that's you know a good thing on their part. And I think we've played most of this game down a player, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so this guy's trying to flank us. Let's, you know, put a stop to that if we can. I don't have much health. Ah. Uh, well, that sucks. <laughs> Sometimes there's just nothing else you can say about a situation. That sucks. Encompasses it all. And it looks like we're starting to mech out here, so this is going to be tough to bring home. I've really tired of these guys being on our flank. And of course, they're mid-range, so if you go after them, they're just going to hammer you before you get to them. Alright, let's take this guy. There you go. We got to keep him off of our side beacon. I think, you know, there's a minute and a half left in this game. I think we got enough on him that if we can keep it 3-2... Uh, time may run out here if we if we just stay alive. Oh, they got me some several several sides here. All right, you know I'm just gonna poke you with a stick here until you. Can. <laughs> what did I have? Only one magnum left. Yeah, well. All right, so this time I'm not gonna go for the guy on our flank. I'm not gonna go for that guy. I'm gonna come over here and. Uh, what we need to do is we need to stop them from pushing forward uh, in this. So we're playing defensive tactics at this point. And right now, they're helping us out, actually, by staying in those mid-range bots. That guy on the right side here, uh, he's probably be it's probably best to leave him in that bot and not go after him. Because if you, and that guy over on the left, he's in the same thing. So if they would jump out of their bots and get into maybe a brawler or something and push for it, it's a little bit late now. But if they'd have done that earlier in this game, it looks like we're going to bring this home for a win. They're not going to be able to uh, to get this. 
episode. But if they'd have done that a while back, maybe at the two minute mark or something like that, and then pushed forward and maybe taken an extra beacon, they might have had this game. But uh, it looks like, yes, we are going to bring it in for a win. So that was a good game. Good, good job, everybody. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. I have new gameplay videos every single day. Don't be shy. Leave a comment down below. Smash the thumbs up or thumbs down button. And until then.